Hey YouTube, I'm gonna give you an idea of what it's like to get a Triumph C7000 lift installed. There's my one car garage. I had a couple problems. My slab was only four and a half inch th inches thick. I cut four by four uh, slabs, dug it down, put uh, rebar in, and now it's about nine inches thick. I didn't connect it all the way because I'm not lifting very anything very heavy. See, I, I store it up because it's out of the way for tripping. My car parks underneath it fine. See, I have my hydraulic hose. One thing about the Triumph, it's Chinese made and the fittings for it are kind of like JIC, but not. So yeah, I kind of had to cobble together with the fittings that we had <clears throat> to make the, uh, the junction in the middle. And I went to the tractor supply store and got another eight foot hose here to go to the other side. And that was only about $35. Because you hear I've mounted everything on the, <clears throat> the post. Got the hydraulic splitter, the power unit. We've got a direct wired tank. And then I put in a sub panel with extra outlets. I've got a 30 amp breaker there for a 220 outlet if I need it. So um, works out well. There's the, the base. But the big thing was, is I had my garage door opener here in the middle and it wasn't gonna give me room to move the car and move it up. So I moved it to the side, thanks to other YouTubers that gave me the idea. I wanted to get some uh, 32 inch radius tracks to go high lift with my garage door, but instead I just angled the track up by 10 degrees. To come over here, I took a chunk of track out of the curved track, about that much, about two and a half, three inches worth. And with the curved track, you just kind of made it back up and drill new holes. And <clears throat> it angled it up to where it was just closer, close enough to the ceiling. And then again, I put my, my uh, garage door opener over there. And just to give you an idea what it looks like when it opens and closes, it's uh, pretty slick. I mounted it right next to the side of the garage door. The springs and the cables do the heavy lifting. So it's not like there's any trouble getting this thing up or down. I did add a turn, maybe three quarters of a turn to the spring to, to give myself a little more force to get it up the incline track. And so an idea of what it looks like here when opening. Anyway, so far I've been pretty pleased with the Triumph. Uh, it's not super consistent lifting equally side to side. I don't know if that's because my asymmetric uh, routing of the hydraulics, but it does close enough. My uh, 328i is a little bit short between the supports, so uh, I have to put the the front or rear onto this pad here and not on this pad here. I just have some blocks of wood there I put underneath it, but it lifts it up just fine. Anyway, one car garage works fine. There's an overview of the lift. Enjoy.